NDC flag bearer hopeful John Mahama promises to clarify law on dual citizenship to allow Ghanaians with dual passport freely contest national elections. And why would we have a law that says that if you want to come and be an MP in Ghana, you must give up your other citizenship? The former president has been alleged, in amongst many things, the manipulation of the judiciary in injuncting the Asin North MP Richard Chachikwesin. Meanwhile, ahead of the NDC primaries this Saturday, anti LGBT coalition, they're making a case for NDC delegate to return proponent of the anti LGBT bill. Also this morning, members of the Pensioner Bondholders Forum to resume picketing at Finance Ministry today, following what they say is a failure of the government and the finance minister Ken Furiata to honor the payment of their matured bonds. This is life and death. Human beings' life is at stake. And I see people don't appreciate the plight of these uh, old uh, women and old men. Just to buy their medicine. Medicine prices have gone up and it right. will lead them to their early death. Work out the judiciary to grind to a halt this week as workers in the third arm of government threaten to lay down their tools over the failure of government to pay them their due salaries and much later. Doing this like came to a car 2019 June after high school. Four years later, artist of the year. Everything is possible. Dreams don't have limits. Newly crowned VGMA artist of the year, Black Sharif, tells the younger generation to dream winning the coveted award, having burst the music scene barely three years ago. We have details of these stories and a lot more if you stay with us for the next 10 minutes. A pleasure you could be a part of this morning's bulletin. I am Eric Mawineg, but let's get into the details now because flag bearer hopeful of the National Democratic Congress and former president John Mahama says persons who will dual citizenship must be allowed to freely contest national elections. According to him, the current laws have been misinterpreted. And DCMP for Sin North Richard Jachikwesin has been fighting a long drawn legal battle after a high court in Cape Coast ruled that the election which took him to Parliament, be annulled for failing to renounce his Canadian citizenship in time to contest the 2020 general elections. But according to John Mahama, the courts have been used by the current government to deny Asin North an MP. We've seen the cardinal sin of the Fourth Republic, which is the disenfranchisement of the people of Sam. For one whole term, they've not had a member of parliament. But even if we put that aside, the people of Asin North elected a person to represent them in parliament. This government has manipulated the judiciary in such a way that they've injuncted the member of parliament for Asin North. So even though he's the elected member, he cannot perform the duties of an MP. That is a gross injustice, and it's an affront to our democracy. Well, John Mahama, who was speaking to party supporters at the Tamale Sports Stadium last night, promised to have the law clarified to allow dual citizens freely contest national elections. When NDC comes into power, we are going to clarify that constitutional provision that compels them to give up their foreign citizenship before they contest elections. A country's human resource is its best resource. And we happen to have about 3 million of our citizens abroad. They've acquired experience. They've acquired different talents. And why would we have a law that says that if you want to come and be an MP in Ghana, you must give up your other citizenship. Meanwhile, we have a dual citizenship law. We are going to clarify it, they can come and stand for parliament, they can come and hold office in Ghana, they don't have to give up their other citizenship to be able to hold that, those offices. That's former President John Mahaman, NDC flag bearer hopeful. Staying on the party's primaries, the National Coalition for Proper Human Sexual Rights and Family Values, they are continuing to ramp up support for seven NDC MPs who are sponsoring the anti-LGBT bill. According to the groups, delegated the seven constituencies owe it a national duty to retain the MPs sponsoring the Proper Human Sexual Rights and Family Values Bill 2021. Away from this, pensioner bondholders are today 
return into the finance ministry to pick it following what they say is the government's failure to honor the payment of their matured bonds and principles. Government in the lead up to announcing a successful debt exchange program announced an exemption of bonds held by the group promising to honor all payments. But according to lead convener Dr. Eduana Nienchi, they are yet to receive their monies. Principal due on 20th February has not been paid, and then coupons from 1st March up to today are also not being paid, uh, numbering about 22 coupons and three matured uh, principals from 1st March up to today. Four other coupons would also be uh, achieved, and uh, we have uh, written to government that pensioners need these money for their medication, especially, and then for their general upkeep. Well, Dr. Edwana Nienchi argues the government should use treasury bills to pay their coupons and principles just like it does to other payments. The government says it doesn't have money. But we have said that if you don't have money, please borrow at the treasury bill market and pay these elderly people. They need their money. Why don't you treat the, the bondholders the same, especially these pensioners? Right. Borrow from the treasury bill market and pay them. Dr. Edwana Nienchi is lead convener for the Pensioner Bondholders Forum. Now, work across the country's judiciary is expected to grind to a halt later this week following threats by the Judicial Service workers to lay down their tools. The Judicial Service Staff Association of Ghana, JUSAC, they've given President Kufaro up to Friday, the 12th of May, to approve and pay their new salaries in all areas from January to May. JUSAC warned that failing to do so will mean the group will ensure members resort to industrial action. Abdullah Yakubu is General Secretary of the Judicial Services Workers Union. If we don't get the approval by the date that we have given to the president, we will have no option but to embark on that strike. Are you open to uh, further negotiations with the government? Uh, say, for example, they cannot increase uh, the salaries that you're asking for. As for cannot, that is not part of the options for us. We are open to the negotiations, but to tell us that you can increase the salaries for us is not part of, that shouldn't be part of the options at all. Abdullah Yakubu is General Secretary of the Judicial Service Staff Association of Ghana, speaking to my colleague Imano Samani. Away from this, on a six-story building project under construction at the Tamale campus of the University of Development Studies has collapsed. The incident is said to have happened following Saturday night downpour. There are no reports of casualties yet, but this becomes a third incident of building collapse reported in the last few days and the first was at Adenta near Kogas and the other at Kujukrum at Achalebuchi all killing two persons raising concerns as well as to checks to some of these buildings he burst on the Ghanaian music scene barely three years ago some argued luck others argued talent but under that short spell versatile artists singing sensation and kweku the traveler kruna black sharif has been crowned the 24th vgma artist of the year black was is affectionately called beat competition from big music names like sarkwadi stoneboy kitty and pc esther to emerge winner here is black sharif speaking to his motivation this award will not be for me only yeah this is for kids from my city watching me doing this like came to a car 2019 june after high school four years later artist of the year everything is possible dreams don't have limits you understand me? you can dream as big as you want and you can work as hard as you want to get whatever you want to Everything is achievable through training, you understand me, like experiences, stuff like that, you understand me. So, you know, you just need to up your spirit. Try to be the best version of yourself, you understand me. If, if you are the best version of yourself, like seeing improvements, your, your confidence go boost. Nobody will tell you what you know. You, you, you know what you know, you understand me. Right now, I'm here, I know what I can do and things. Nobody will come tell me nothing. That's... The new Lee Crown Artist of the Year, Black Sharif, speaking uh, after winning the much coveted award on Saturday, on Sunday dawn, I should say. And we are on the international front because Nigeria's election tribunal will today start hearing your position 
party's petitions challenging President-elect Bola Tinubu's victory in the disputed presidential elections. There'll be a lot more on this for you if you stay with us here on 3FM 92.7. As always, a lot more news when you log on to 3news.com. I am Eric Mawina Egweta.